What if I could put him in front of you? The man that ruined your life. Would you kill him? By the time you listen to this, seven years will have passed. Here you are, at the beginning of your new life. It can be overwhelming, knowing the future. Hi, uh, welcome again to Fuckle. Uh, this week we'll be reviewing almost back to what we like to do, uh, which is to review low budget, Small, obscure, obscure science, fiction science fiction movies. Fiction movies yeah. Yes, and this week's low budget, obscure science fiction movie is called Predestination. It's based on uh, Robert Heinlein. Heinlein. Short, Heinlein, short story called All You Zombies. It yes. stars Ethan Hawke, Sarah Snook, and basically that's it. There are some other frill uh, actors at the side, actors, fringe yeah. actors, but the whole movie is, revolves around Ethan Hawke and Sarah, this, this Australian woman by the name of Sarah Snook. Sarah Snook. And Sarah Snook in this movie plays both genders. Yes. She's very good actually. Yeah, yeah. At one point she looked like Jodie Foster. Yeah. And then she looked like Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. you know. Well, this movie, I mean, it's a confusing time-travelling movie. But are there any time-travelling movies that are not confusing? Yeah, yeah right? so... Even Back to the Future was confusing. Was confusing. Um, it's about this guy, Ethan Hawke, that is... Some kind of time cop. He's a time cop, yes. So he has got this violin thingy that he uses to yeah, time to, travel. Yeah, time travel. So he time travels to stop uh, big events, like say a bomb going off. He'll but there's apparently to... there's a, a unabomber type guy. Yeah. They, they suspect it's a, it's a serial bomber mm. who was going to go and 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 kill like 50,000 people in New York or something like that. Yeah. So his purpose is to try and track this guy over time to stop that event happening. happening. Yes, yes. Stop that big event from happening. Yep. He had not been successful. Yes, he wasn't successful. Right. And until he meets this uh, journalist or, or this writer and uh, in a bar, and then this girl, lady, no, 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 this guy mm. comes over and sits at the bar and sets out to tell his him. life yeah. story. Then the, the story unfolds from there. Yes. I'm a temporal agent. We prevent crime before it takes place. The fizzle bomber. His next explosion will leave 11,000 dead. You can do this. Right. You have skills you've never had the chance to use, and I can give you that chance. I get to be a temporal agent? If you prove yourself. Do I have a choice? You always have a choice. The reveal is layered and yeah. it's bit by bit. So it does attract your attention. Yeah. I think after about 20 minutes in, you start getting really intrigued. Yeah. You really wanted to, so what's going on? Because because the start of the movie is is is, is it's an all action thing. Mm. Right? And then our main protagonist, Ethan Hawke, that's when yeah. he got severely burned or something yeah. like that. So, you know, you, you had an, an action thing at the beginning. And then suddenly, it's like the entire movie pivoted. Yeah. Right? And that's when you start getting really intrigued because you're trying to figure out, okay, where does this go now? Mm. What exactly? You're trying to figure out how does it tie up to the, to the, to the first scene, yeah. right? I wasn't really uh, uh, convinced with the ending, mm. but I did, yeah. uh, to an extent, enjoy it because it, it unraveled itself very well. Yeah. And, you know, it's just a small little movie that yes. to kill two hours of your time, you wouldn't feel really uh, well, disappointed. Yeah. I found it, you know, I thought, hey, key, man, you know, uh, yeah, mindfuck, you know, yeah. not too bad. Yeah, yeah it's know? quite a mindfuck though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. because Heinlein, uh, same like Philip K. Dick, mm -hmm. right, um, used to write this really mind-bending, weird stuff. And there was one, I can't remember the title of the book, but the main protagonist was called Lazarus Long, and he really lived a long time. Mm -hmm. And he, he fucked around a lot. So he had a lot of children and grandchildren. And at one point, he started banging his great-grandchildren, who then produced great-great-grandchildren. This so, is the sort of stuff that Heinlein was writing. Ah, so <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> that explains a lot. Right? Because then, you see how twisted this movie is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, put it in perspective. Ah. So at least you have the benefit of that yes. an anecdote. Yeah. Then you can watch the movie now. I didn't have the benefit <laughs> of that anecdote. Okay. It's a slow burn. Uh, you can enjoy it. I'll give it in 
terms of uh, terms of enjoyment, mm. it's a three star movie for me. Right. Uh, yeah, it's a three and a half uh, because I think it's better than uh, Automata. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think this is better. So yeah, it gets three and a half stars. Really. Oh. But but yeah, you you should watch it really. Okay.